Hello, hello, and what's up, modern people in this modern world? Uh, once again, welcome to my new crib. And um, we're going to answer uh, one of these um, famous question about the Bose S1. Um, I don't have it, so that's the answer. No, I'm kidding. Um, the question is, what is a good alternative um, portable speaker that is similar to the Bose S1 Pro and my answer is the Samsung Expedition Express I was really looking uh, on buying the Bose S1 but it's very expensive because at one um, open mic that I've attended uh, Becca and I uh, played and it was um, the one provided and we've used it and we were really pleased with the sound uh, so we were looking at an alternative um, PA system that's portable and that's when we decided to buy the Aroma um, AG 40A so an acoustic um, um, an acoustic portable amplifier so now it's my turn to find a very good acoustic um, PA system or acoustic amplifier which can also be uh, taken outdoors as well as uh, with built-in mixer and that's when I bought the Samsung Expedition Express so before we start with the comparison of the specs between the two speakers Let's tour around my crib. Okay guys, now that you've seen my crib, um, it's a small room and it's not yet finished on what exactly I wanted with the room, but it's getting there. Right, so let's compare the two speakers. So in terms of weight, the Bose S1 weighs 15 pounds or it's about um, 7 something kg while the Samsung Expedition Express is 10.5 pounds which is roughly 4 kg something so the Samsung is um, lighter than the Bose both of them are considered lightweight uh, PA system the two of them got three um, mixers and almost similar it's got two for the instrument and mic and then one for the Bluetooth. However, the Bose S1 has got two combo XLR. The Samsung e Expedition Express only got one combo, as I've shown you when I unboxed this one. And it's got a uh, one quarter inch for the instrument. They're, they both got Bluetooth streaming um, option. They are both uh, the same rechargeable uh, PA system. Although Samsung claims it's it can run up to twenty hours, while Bose uh, claims between six to eleven hours. So um, the good thing with Bose is that it's got a quick charge. So if you are going for that option. It can power charge and then you can use it again um, while the Samsung Expedition Express when I bought this we already experienced a problem with the battery and they recommend a long charging like uh, on your first uh, purchase you need to charge it for 24 hours um, right what else um, it's the Bose S1 got multiple positions you can tilt it back so it got, it's got a tilt back option 
it's got the wedge monitor which is the same with this one um remember with this side and then you can angle it like that um but you can't you can't tilt this one the bose you can tilt it like that and uh, for the speaker stands um bose got that as well and then obviously you can just put it flat on the surface um bose got tone match where when you plug in because it's got that combo xlr when you plug it in you can uh turn on the tone match between mic or an instrument so you can tweak that one using the tone match another thing that's really good with Bose is the onboard sensor where it can detect the environment that you're using for that speaker and it can angle um, the sound or direct or aim the sound to your audience or to yourself so it depends on where you put the speaker and it's got that onboard sensor so that's really high tech uh, it's also got a uh, reverb the Samsung doesn't have reverb and then um, the same the two got two band EQ so it's bass and treble so you got the same um, size speaker six inch speaker and then the wattage uh the bose is 40 watts uh rms and it can pick up to 80 watts however samsung is only 30 watt rms which peak between 70 to 75 uh wattage last but not the least is the price um samsung uh when i search on gear for music it's being sold uh, at 180 around that figure 180 pounds uh, Bose S1 uh, on undertones is 469 pounds and at Toman it's 499 it's about 500 pounds um, yeah so that's it for now for the comparison and then we will test the Samsung Expedition Express, um, the sound quality. I couldn't uh, share to you the Bose S1, but at least you will have an experience with the Samsung Expedition as an alternative for your um, choice like the Bose S1. Okay, we'll set up and see in a bit. Hello guys, so um, I'm back again. I didn't manage to finish the video uh, because there's lots of things one was I used the line out I don't know if you can see it there's a line out for this one connected it to my mixer and my mixer is connected to the phone and it's muffled I don't know for some reason it didn't really sound great apart from when I played the guitar through here going to the mixer and going to the phone and that was okay that was uh better but when i use the microphone uh no it, probably it's also got to do with the microphone or i don't know and then the other bit is that the copper mask came and i had to do a impromptu um unboxing demo review and yeah so that's out of the way and I'm glad that I helped some of the people with uh, regards to the copper mask. Right, going back uh, about the Samsung uh, being like um, an alternative for both uh, S1. So here's the microphone. Sound check, sound check. The level at the moment is around 4. Uh, it doesn't have a master volume so it's just got the volume for the microphone sound check and this is the sound quality sound sound check you can tweak the eq sound sound check and you can add a bit of bass there sound sound check so um that's for the microphone right we'll skip to channel three which is the bluetooth and um, we'll connect the iPad. 
okay so let's find um long press there we go it's blinking now let's see if the device can yeah samsung express clicked connected uh -huh. let's find on youtube uh, Ah, I know now. Why not? We'll use instead of YouTube, we'll use iMovie. There's loads of songs here that we can choose. So, media audio file and uh, soundtrack. Let's find um, playful. Let's try this one. Okay. So, volume. There it is. The volume is number four. So, the volume was number four. Halfway, and then, and then the bass. I turned the bass up a bit. It, I didn't put it on full blast, it's probably seven or eight. Oh, that was the treble. So I think um, for an outdoor event, um, it's okay. Uh, I feel like the Bose is still louder than this one. And it shows with the wattage um, that Bose are claiming. This is 30, Bose is 40, which this one peak between 70 to 75 maybe. And then Bose uh, peak up to 80 and some of the um amplifiers even though they claim they're 150 wattage or 100 compared with roland or bose uh, or yamaha those brands when they say they only got 20 uh, watt um, amplifier it's really loud because uh, they, they they put it on a lower value but the power that it can push is louder even Fender uh, versus the unbranded um, guitar amps when they say they got 15 watt and it's a Fender amp versus uh, unbranded cheap um, amp which is also 15 the Fender will definitely be louder so with this one I would say the Bose is louder but this one's not bad uh, the, the price comparison is quite far this is 100 something let's say 180 the other one is almost 500 it's ranging between 469 to 499 so yeah uh, you pay for the value or the quality um, saying that we'll try and uh, record some uh, guitar on this one and we are not gonna be using any effects as well so just plug the guitar straight Let's try and use Becca's guitar because I'll be returning this anytime soon. Um, I get confused now because it's a left-handed guitar. There we go. By the way, last night we played at Suburbia in Southampton. And yeah, the crowd is really good there. Lots of really good talents as well. Very, very good singer. And shout out to Jay really excellent really genius musician the way he plays the um, stage piano or keyboard is excellent from pop to jazz to even 
rock he is doing a little bit of like acoustic version using the piano stage piano with um like an alternative or rock songs he's very versatile and then there's a singer uh i'm not sure if i got their name correct it's meg emily my word she blew the stage um the voice was so the range the quality and performance everything um yeah so much for that going back to this one number four again So that's um, the acoustic guitar. Let's try with a classical guitar. So that's it guys um you've heard the unit um it's samson expedition express and we're just trying to compare uh, with both s1 and i think if you're on a budget go for this one but if you got money to spare definitely both s1 is the winner between the two uh comparison specs wise and my experience with the Bose S1 when we played at Tudor Rose uh, in, during their open mic um, it's definitely I can feel the room was filled this one it already made a difference that I'm at, at the back and the speaker is facing you guys I, I couldn't really hear how loud I am and I'm in just a, in a small room so it might be louder on your side because of the projection and then on my end here is a little bit um, uh, quieter so that's it it's quite a long uh, video thank you for watching guys and stay tuned and comment if the fish eye lens is okay it's just i wanted to show the speaker and the rest of the room it's a very small room and just making use of whatever things that i've bought in the past so i i just pick it up and i said let's try the fish eye if it looks cool and you like it then we'll be using this in future videos if it's awkward for you guys watching me like in a uh like by the door but to be to be fair it looks cool because it's like i'm in this tiny room you're just outside my it's like this is a hotel room you're just outside peeping what is uh, vrb tube doing so yeah it, it can be viewed that way so thanks again for watching and for those of you who are new to my channel please 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 subscribe and follow me so press that notification bell so you get notified each time i got new videos for you and thank you bye for now ciao